welcome back to part three of this clean up your money video series. So if you've been with me since part one, you will have started to notice and observe your words about your finances. What do you say about money? What is your consistent conversation to yourself and to others? And then in part two, you would have started to look at where your money actually goes. So, so, so part three now is about coming back to the mindset. And where I'm going to go with this may surprise you. But I want to ask you, how well do you take care of yourself? Are you spending money on self-care? Do you put yourself first? Think about it this way. When you feel taken care of, guess what? Not only do you feel abundant, do you feel rich? You have got so much more to give to the world, okay? So again, it's a mindset. Are you prioritizing you? Or do you come at the end of the list after taking care of the family, the children, your husband, um, your colleagues at work perhaps? <laughs> Think about it. So again, it's your mindset. How do you take care of yourself? And who are you doing it for? Well, let me tell you, you are doing it for yourself. Now, let me add here, and this is why it's so important. If you're not taking care of yourself, do you know what's happening? You're gonna feel exhausted, tired, angry, upset, frustrated. These are emotions that are real and people are experiencing these emotions, but you know what those emotions do to you? They drain you. They make you feel like giving up. Things just feel perpetually hard. You keep asking yourself, when is it going to get better? So I'll tell you when. It's going to get better when you prioritize you. And this is an important conversation connected to money because it's about how much money are you investing in you. Now those emotions and those feelings I mentioned a few moments ago, feeling drained, upset, frustrated, those are not the emotions that will attract abundance. If anything, it'll chase abundance away. So if you're not taking care of you, guess what? Without realizing it, you are blocking your own abundance flow. Now you may not have thought about it that way before, but I'm inviting you to consider that taking care of you is a priority. So what can you do? Following this video, your homework is going to be a couple things. First of all, make a list of what you would love to do for you. What would you absolutely love? Maybe a massage, a facial, a manicure, pedicure, maybe a weekend away, maybe just an afternoon to relax and read a good book or go see a movie or have coffee with a friend. Identify what you would love to do because it's about you. As I said earlier, this is about you. And once you've identified these things and they're on that list of yours, that's when you'll start to actually see miracles show up. Like suddenly you'll be invited out. Things will connect. Synchronicities will happen. And why? Because you're putting you first. Okay, so will you do that for yourself? Will you do that? And please write in the comments below what would be the number one thing you would like to do for you. Okay, that's taking care of you. That's taking care of your mindset, taking care of your well-being so that you can be all that you can be in the world. Now alongside of that, hand in hand, there's a little bit of money care I want to also invite you to take action on. So money care, hmm, what could that mean? Well, the good news is I'm gonna tell you. Money care means cleaning up and clearing out your wallet or your purse. Not a hard thing to do, but something you do need to do on a regular basis. So just like you take care of yourself because it's important, I want you to take care of your wallet. Because why? When your wallet is stuffed, let's say with cards that have expired or cards you don't even use anymore, receipts that you've accumulated over a period of time that are not even tax related, so really what's the point? 
money crammed in, coins bulging out. You know, that's not respectful. That's not powerful. It's not even neat. It's actually just damn messy. So <laughs> don't freak out if you're thinking, oh my word, Linda, I don't even want to look at my wallet right now. It's okay. However your wallet is, it's okay. But I want you to open it up, take everything out, and only put back in the things that you truly need, you truly love, and truly want to have in your wallet. Whether it's a photograph of your children, keep that there. Perhaps even a beautiful heart that says, I attract money. You know, create yourself some positive mantras that can fill your wallet with positivity. Make sure your notes, if you have notes in your wallet, are lined up and in order. If you have receipts, file the ones that you need to keep for tax related expenses and ditch the rest. Stay on top of this. Why? Because this, believe it or not, this is a form of self-care. So when you take care of your money, you're taking care of you. When you take care of you, you will attract more abundance. And that's my wish for you. So your homework for the next two days, today and tomorrow, will be to make a list of the things that you'd love to do for yourself and clean up that wallet. And again, thank you for watching. I hope you found the session valuable. I look forward to seeing your comments and I will see you on the next video. Bye now.